Good morning, everyone. This is Melanie from Lightbeam's Treasures, and it is a Monday, November 16th. Well, maybe I look a little better. I have had a very restful, relaxing weekend. Um, my husband officially said to me that you're taking the weekend off. He only wanted me to take one day off. I don't So I... I rewarded myself, I guess. Um, I was also distracted because it turns out American Horror Story was on Netflix and I literally power watched the entire um, 1984 season in basically two days. <laughs> so that just goes to show you, I literally sat down and did nothing all weekend. So I feel, I feel much better. I really do feel better. Um, sleeping, I did sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good thing. So hopefully that'll recharge. Um, recharge me, get me going. It is now Monday, back to work time. So I sold a lot this weekend. Oh my God, this was a really, really good weekend. If the weekends could stay like this for the rest of the season, that would be great. I did, while I was watching um, American Horror Story, I did put a whole bunch of movies up. And I ended up sorting movies because... Let me show you this. I got not one, but three sales of movies. So I had to separate and I did, I had two movie lots and one TV lot. So I had to separate this in packs of 50. So that took some time. And while I was separating them, I figured why not put some up as well? So that was a good time of me um, putting things up. In addition to that, I also sold, Woodstock. I sold not one, but two copies of Gunga Din. I sold Interceptor. Dirty Work. Machine, uh, machine Gun McCain. Couldn't say that. I had to say that fast. There we go. Machine Gun McCain. And then Nova the Vikings. So now that was all the movies I sold the weekend. That alone between the three packs, which I was selling them for $25 each, but my store was running a 15% off special. So these came out to $21.25 plus all the movies. I sold a total of $108.23 in movies alone, which to me was great. Now bear in mind, this is, um, uh, we're talking about Saturday and Sunday. So it's Saturday after the point I mailed everything out and Sunday. Then, in addition to that, I sold a coloring book collection. I think I've been telling everybody these. I have been doing coloring book uh, packs. I do them on special in either packs of 10, packs of 20, packs of 50. And it really is a very neat special. I guarantee no doubles. So they're getting 10 books and they're getting it for $14.99. And that includes free shipping. I also sold, this is an interesting thing, Worlds to Explore, the handbook for Brownie and Junior Girl Scouts. This is a Girl Scout manual from 1977. This is an old one. And you can see about uh, learning. There's even some, um, what do you call it, bookmarks in here that they're going to get. It's all um, Girl Scout guide. This one I sold for $9.99. I ended up getting this for free. It was tossed in um, one of the um, library uh, dump offs that they do. This book, on the other hand, I was really excited about. Let me show it to you. It is The Heart is a Lonely Hunter by Carson McCoolers. This is actually a first edition. Um, copyright is 19. 40, but it was renewed in 1967 as the first edition library. So this is a first edition 1967 copy of it, and it has the certificate of authenticity in it. I don't want to, ah, got to get it back in. Because you can see this is in pristine condition, and it comes in the, uh, the book, yes. So this lovely book, I had it up for. $100. My store was running a 15% off sale, which brought it down to 85. Somebody gave me an offer for 70. Considering I only paid a dollar for it, I said yes. So this book sold for $70.
very happy on that one. Then I sold, I also sold, get ready for this, it's that time, ugly Hanukkah sweater dress. Look at this. Isn't that adorable? It has little snowflakes. It's a dress. And I actually have a whole bunch of these. I paid a dollar for these uh, during last year's uh, Hanukkah sale. And now I'm selling them for $15 each, which is really, really cool. This one is a size large. I have medium, large, and extra large. And I have, uh, I have about six of each. So those are going to be a good sale during the season. And the fact that this is the second one I've already sold, I'm very happy. And then the last and final item I sold was this rock and roll play by color uh, piano. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar. Ended up selling this for $25.49. So very happy with that. So all together for the weekend, I did amazing. $272.18 just for Saturday and Sunday. So what that means is I have a lot of wrapping to do. I'm going to wrap this up. And once I finish wrapping, I'm going to start putting more stuff up because I'm really excited and I want to see how this weekend is going to go. My plans for this weekend is we are going to have an auction Wednesday, Thursday, and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I think that's what I'm going to start doing. Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays are my auctions, my YouTube auctions. I jump on other people's shows sell, see how it goes. And then that leaves me Monday and Tuesday to focus strictly on eBay. That's the plan. Mm -hmm. Other than that, um, I think I really, really needed the weekend off. I feel better. I'm still tired. I'm still achy, but you know something? It just, I feel like I'm renewed and I'm focused and I am ready to start a new so with that, everyone, this is Melanie with Lightbeam's Treasures. I hope you have a good weekend. Good luck. Uh, and take care.